It's like uh, we're gonna not be able to stop laughing. No, like we gotta, we're not no, gonna we, be able to start. Okay, go. We should wrap in. Like, okay. Hope thirty two. Hope thirty two. What are we, Wu Tang Clan? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. No, that's not the opening of the show. <laughs> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, Hub 32, uh, your YouTube variety show with a little bit of everything and a lot of bit of nothing. I can't be uh, our tagline anymore. We gotta be like, you don't need to know anything because we'll dumb it down for you. We'll get a new tagline soon, but right now it's a tagline. But yeah, uh, bitch. <laughs> Uh, my name is David Sieber, one of your hosts. Uh, to my right is Mr. Anthony Romeo, our, uh, our, our Jesse impersonator for today. Yeah, our in studio <laughs> vegan. Uh, Jesse? Yeah, Breaking, Breaking Bad. Bad. Oh. Yeah. Uh, and next to him is Mr. Aaron Kirby, um, the, the creator know. of Mario Kart. The guy who exists. <laughs> the guy who exists. My fellow companion in No Shave November. Uh, which is going well I haven't for shaved. both of us. I haven't shaved either, Dick. Uh, yeah, yeah, but you don't but have But you still anything. look like a school-age girl. <laughs> and, and David and I have like pretty full-on beards that we can grasp and hold on to. And you still have like some wisps that you can't really see. Your mom has a beard I can grasp on to. <clears throat> I don't know. Dick. She might. <laughs> uh, All right. Anyway. Uh, anyway. Got some good news in the checklist. We're going to just... <laughs> We're going to cut the intro bull crap, and we're going to go right to the checklist for today, unlike usual. Um, okay, what was that thing about turn my phone on silent, and then Anthony's phone goes off? Yeah. I don't ever get texts. I'm sorry. Hang on. I'll just turn it uh, off wow. completely. He's very suddenly popular. Yeah. From oh, with one person. wait. Yeah, yeah, that was my little sister. I was sending the photo. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Anyway. That'll be a surprise. All right. The show. <laughs> <laughs> so, first up... <clears throat> Uh, something that Aaron brought to my attention uh, was a statement made by uh, by Donald Trump about uh, September 11th. Uh, he said supposedly uh, in a campaign rally in Ohio, he said that he uh, recalls seeing, and this was a statement that he made um, to go to his point about fighting against ISIS and not taking in Syrian refugees or about how we need to track them. He brought up that he supposedly saw and read various articles about Muslims in New Jersey uh, cheering on September 11th when the towers came down. Having tailgate parties. Uh, having tailgate parties. His exact quote here. Um, here we go. Uh, he says, uh, Now I know they don't like to talk about it, but it was well covered at the time. There were people over in New Jersey that were watching it, a heavy era population that were cheering as the buildings came down, he said. Not good. Uh, local officials in New Jersey continue to dismiss Trump's claims, uh, yada, yada, yada. Um, then he also went on to say that um, within hours of two jetliners plowing into the World Trade Center, Trump said, reading from the article, it was an article uh, that he read from a 14-year-old Washington Post article. Um, he said law enforcement authorities detained and questioned a number of people who were allegedly seen celebrating the attacks. Uh, now there's no reference to, to the reference in the article to Trump's claim of seeing thousands of thousands of Muslims celebrating New Jersey, but he highlights another line in the same story. Um, it says, "And holding a tailgate stop and holding tailgate style, tailgate. You know what that means? Tailgate. And I've repeated that a lot of times. Uh, that means football games, Ohio State, thousands of people in parking lots on roofs. Tailgate is a lot of people." Um, now, some guy, Rick Johnson from Keetering, Ohio, uh, said he heard about that, too, when it happened. And a lot of them were cheering, especially over in the Middle East. Um, and he goes on to say that he admires Trump because he tells it straight, even if the fact checkers say otherwise. Which is like, the even if... It's total bullshit. Yeah, that's I like admire saying what he says. That's like, yeah, exactly. Just he's he's saying that the people that check actual facts are wrong. Now, now I can respect that, and it's just like, well, no, because I love means that it's you wrong. tell it as straight as believable as possible. You okay, tell it I'm as straight as the pole Ohio that my mother dances on. Do not on. talk like that. So. <laughs> 
Whatever. You guys it's are like getting very racist right now against Ohioans. It's where corn comes from. Okay. It's where corn comes from. You're not standing. You're sitting yeah, for well, it. Actually, I'm sitting, but I'm not going to metaphorically stand for <laughs> it. Yeah, but it's where corn comes from. I don't know. That's right. Isn't that where corn comes from? Do corn. Eating corn mm. immediately throws away your English language. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, but then on his point for the Syrians, he's like, uh, I believe refugees coming in. Uh, I believe the refugees coming in, they need to find out who they are, have a database, where they're at, and where they're going to be staying. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that, he says. Yeah, that's... That's, that's totally a lot of no, fucking yeah, work. That is, and <clears throat> it's prying into his privacy in an unfair way. Well, he, I'm not going to get into you know whether or not we should let Syrian refugees in, but to say that <clears throat> we need to have a whole database of everyone we let in, who that's the ridiculous. fuck's going to keep track of that? I mean, we have we a... We can't keep track of all the other, you know... People that come across our own borders, let yeah. alone letting in a bunch of Syrian refugees, who are we going to keep a database and track where they're at, where yeah. they're working, where they're living? And they, I mean, <clears throat> they just also won't like that. I mean, we do it for convicts because they've been cur- convicted of a crime, and they'll a lot of them will see it like that. Like, what, we're criminals, you need to keep track of us? They just, well, it would just cause, his you know, His statement for some of this is coming off of um, some people claiming that... Um, <clears throat> And I'm not sure if they came out and said whether or not they found out if it was true or not, but they said that some of the, at least one of the people from the Paris attacks that was coordinating it was um, undercover as a Syrian refugee, that they were posing as a Syrian refugee, and that's how they got passed into into Paris and all that. Hmm. Um, so he's kind of used that to his own claim, saying, you know, if we, a lot of people have, if we let them in, we could be letting in terrorists. Mm-hmm. Now, uh, yeah, but I, to not, be fair, they can be any I'm color, not. especially in America. Oh my God, they would dress <clears throat> as a white person, and you know, dress as a white person. Well, you know, <laughs> dress white up. face, <laughs> basically. Yeah, or you know, they can hire someone. It's, it's like white shirt. And it's like white or, chicks you know, in the color. You know, like or American connection. I don't know. All I'm saying is, it doesn't matter where it is. They will sneak in according to that places you know comfortability or their own people so it's just i just think there's a i think there's a lot of claims that can be made if you're gonna if you're get to my puppy in the background uh if you're gonna make the claim of you shouldn't let in syrian refugees to say that one of them could be a terrorist i mean i'm sure you can make a claim for it but yeah, it, like i just said it, it reminds anyone, it reminds really. me of during world war ii a lot of people don't re- uh don't remember this but we create a lot of um they were basically internment camps. No, we they named, were. Yeah, we named they... them something else, but we put a we took a bunch of Japanese people during World War II that were living in America and put them into camps, uh, claiming that it was for their own protection. Um, in reality, we were scared that any yeah, of, and anyone in this country, them. yeah, could be working for the Japanese, could be undercover, um, and we didn't want anything to happen to our country. So we put a lot of Japanese people into basically internment camps and called it for their own protection. And unfortunately, they weren't like <coughs> standards wise they were not much better than concentration camps i mean they weren't you know torturing them and killing them but like the resource <coughs> resources they would get were like yeah you this know, this was barely basically survivable. it was basically like putting them in, in prison uh, yeah um, exactly uh but i okay, guess i don't know it might be a stretch to compare that well, but no it, it's if they acted up me. guards were allowed to fire upon them if they started well you yeah know, resisting. no i mean it was very serious i mean comparing it with the syrians but i mean it just kind of reminds me of that fear thing now again different claims can be made for for either side of the argument but it just seems especially his claim you know relating that to the muslims and letting in the syrian it just seems a bit of a stretch yeah exactly any points on this Aaron? before i move on to the next topic Oh, you, did, you totally skipped over how Ben Carson said the same thing. Oh, And then well, yeah. later was like, oh, wait, I was thinking of watch uh, the video I saw. Yeah, see, so they're probably also Middle just East. trying to... Yeah, New Ben Jersey. Carson went back on it, yeah, and Trump Car- stayed Trump steady. Trump was like, screw you guys, it was New Jersey, I knew yeah. it, I saw it. Fuck you, fact checkers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, all right, so moving on to the next one. Uh, a little bit more lighthearted for the next couple topics we got here. Um, but it has been... Announced officially. that uh, officially, more or less, um, that PlayStation Four will officially have backwards compatibility for PlayStation Two games, um, but not in the same way that Xbox One is doing backwards compatibility with Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty. With Xbox One, 
you can just put an Xbox 360 game into the Xbox One and basically it downloads it. You still have to have the disc to play it, but it downloads it with the update. You have trophies on there, basic trophies. Um, basic trophies. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't know if they've added anything special. So far, I mean, I've played through Gears of War, uh, backwards compatible, and it's you get a trophy. You know, whenever you get the basic stuff, you know, Xbox 360 trophies. Yeah, like um, you completed level one. Yeah, good job. <laughs> but then again, um, this is different because PlayStation Two. Excuse me. Uh, PlayStation 2 didn't have any trophies, oh, obviously. Oh, yeah, no. They were. Um, Xbox 360 had trophies, so it's not difficult to just allow the system that was already there to have trophies on Xbox One. But it is mm-hmm. nice. Basically what it is, is they're going to be backwards compatible um, as an emulator. So it's not it's not going to be the same as, um, as popping a disc. Because the PlayStation 4 can't read PlayStation 2 discs. Um, 4K. Uh, I don't know the whole specifics of it. I think it's just the way that the discs are wrote compared to how the PlayStation 4 discs are. Well, I mean, <clears throat> yeah, the ones we have now are like <coughs> Blu-ray discs, basically, on how high def they are, so probably. So, like, what kind of emulator do you mean? Um, it's it's An emulator has been out for a while, and I think they, they just tweaked it. And, um, but they, they didn't just port it over where like you don't just put the game in and you can suddenly play uh playstation 2 games it's you have to, going... like download it off the psn or something online. i think that's how it's going to be they're still yeah. talking about how it's going to work i don't think they're going to be able to just put discs in yeah they were um, well i mean they've had that then because i heard you get the first resident evil game on PSN. well that's different because well that's um and it, th- i heard it wasn't the remade version so it's on hd but that's that's a that's not backwards compatibility that's just we did this game so it can be played on the playstation network this is like any of the games you have can be like so a disc if you have like the disc because you're saying not the disc well they're, they're not sure they're not sure whether or not they'll be able to do the disc yet but basically again it's they're going to be using an emulator um and sony has been asking what pe- what games people want to be backwards compatible for the ps4 from the ps2 to ps Hit my mic, sorry. Uh, from PS2 to PS4. Hub 32, um, we beat the shit out of our equipment. <laughs> um, so, it's basically going to be an emulator. They said there, there's trophies, mm-hmm. um, which is cool. So, they went back and actually did some work to, to get to... trophy. I was just going to say, they made it, They could have had it easier if they didn't have any trophies because they wouldn't need to cover that data. There are no trophies. You could just plug in the disc or put in the disc and play but yeah. they added trophies all right um so that's gonna be cool there's no announcement for when it's gonna come out um psx is coming up um which is probably where we're gonna hear more about this uh we don't know a whole lot except that that it is basically officially going to happen my question for this one is uh because their thing is what playstation 2 games you'd like to see on playstation 4 uh what's your guys's vote what, like, what's one game from PS2 you want to see on PlayStation? Um, Res- the original Resident Evil games, hands down. Like, Well, the original the... Resident Evil wasn't on PlayStation 2. Well, no, not original games. There's, there were multiple. Like, mm-hmm. Resident Evil Zero? Oh, my God. Never that played was... it. I don't know about Resident Evil. Yeah, well, David... I don't I don't even know what to say to that. <laughs> it's just not my Bad. style. I don't like, I don't like the... Especially the original ones when well, you yeah, walk the camera, in, the camera yeah, is a lot of people never, don't like you've, a lot of people don't like the camera on that. You have no clue where the fuck that camera is going to appear when you walk into the next room. It could be behind you, it could be the side of you, it could be, it could in, be front in a of corner you. down the hall. Yeah, it, yeah, it's it. It gets crazy, but honestly, for me, that's what was fun because it's, I would round the corner so many times and then bam, zombie, son of a bitch. But and, it's only a jump scare because of the terrible camera angles. Well, there I are some that in like a lot the first time you play the game, there are a few, but yeah, it's like an older game. There aren't gonna be very many jump scares that you know, like it's like Five Nights at Freddy's is really scary because you can't move the camera. Yeah, <laughs> like the biggest thing, the biggest scare in that game was when they released the director's cut. There's a cut scene that they extended where a head rolls like out, like a zombie's eating, and then uh, you see a puddle of blood, and then a head rolls out. Oh, and yeah. that scared the shit out of people, and it's a terrible CGI zombie but that's the whole thing back Mm. then it was new Mm. so like in the newer ones are terrible because they're just like call of duty now yeah to like co-op call of duty basically i haven't played what's the six no i wasn't six they came out with another one um it was like it was like a multiplayer kind of a shooter thing well yeah they've made Mm -hmm. um like multiple they made revelations which was on um the fucking 
3DS or something, right? The, there was a pocket version, but anyway, um, yeah, the 6 has a huge multiplayer, but it's like, they tried going back to zombies, because that's what everyone's saying, like, please, just regular zombies, and oh my god, I saw a light at the end of the tunnel when they came after me, and they were just shambling, and oh, and I was like, yes, they might be normal, and then guess what happened? They did an eight-foot jump like a frog. Oh, wait, they're normal zombies, but they're just mutated so they can do an eight-foot jump. It's the Jurassic Park thing. We, we yeah, combine them and with, I'm just, <laughs> oh my, frogs. Oh, why? Why? You had <laughs> one job. And then, oh yeah, by the way, you, you hardly ever one see, job. yeah, you hardly ever see those. Those are like the, ooh, cool, normal zombies. The rest of them are still mutant tentacle things from like the fourth and fifth one. Mm. And I'm just like, wow, guys, you have gone downhill. I'm, I'm sad. Aaron? I'm crying right now in studio. I never got any PlayStation, so I have no clue what any of their games are. Really? I wow, you just... Uh, it was, we were, like, up here, and then you just brought it down here. I, I know I, you people can't see my hand, but, but it is just... I was a Nintendo and an Xbox that I never, ever got into PlayStation at all. God, what a noob. Saddened me. That's not <laughs> noob. Me noob. I know, I'm it kidding. Makes me if anything, you're an OG. You played a Nintendo. You're like... Mm. Yeah, I speak up, though. I haven't played Nintendo games. Um... I'd say, oof. Oof. you're not. Oof. Here's, here's the thing. You're oof. not. You're not gonna get just like how uh, people are asking for games on X, Xbox, Xbox One backwards compatibility, like uh, Borderlands mm. Two, um, uh, just various things like that, or anything that is a first party game um, that is already going, already in a uh, combo pack, or is possibly going to come in a combo pack. You're not gonna see backwards compatible. Borderlands 2 and Borderlands a pre-sequel are already in the Handsome Jack collection. Uh, you're probably never going to see those backwards compatible because that's going to take away from the sales of of the Handsome Jack collection. Um, so games I would choose, like Gears of War, mm -hmm. or not Gears of War, sorry, uh, God of War, Yeah, uh, we're not going to get backwards compatible. Oh, well, yeah, I mean, um, it's just some titles were too big that they stop just Stop stroking really... my beard. <laughs> I'm not stroking your beard, come on. You're, you're petting my beard, don't you? Um... But yeah, some games were just too big that they yeah. made so much money that if they redid it, their new games, like Ascension is the newest God of War, that would well, get less. was like PS, PlayStation Vita. Really? I thought it was just a multiplayer God of War no, that they No, Ascension did. was PlayStation Vita. It was multiplayer, but it was Vita. Well, um, yeah, either way, but it would take away from that, so they just don't Well, no, it's because I, I know they're going to do, they're going to have a um, pack here on the PS4, I'm sure, eventually, where it's uh, one through four, or one through, sorry, one through three. They're going to do a four eventually, but it's God, God of War one through three mm -hmm. HD remake combo yeah. pack. You know what's going to happen, yeah, exactly. so there's no reason to make it backwards compatible. Mm -hmm. um, so I mean, for me, it's kind of hard because I like I, I'm the same as Aaron. I wasn't too big in PlayStation two. I had it, mm -hmm. and I have a bunch of games. But off the top of my head, I can't think of anything. I'm like, God, I need that right now. Crash. I liked. Um, <laughs> I liked Battle uh, Battlefield two. Okay, you never played Battlefront. That was on PS2. Uh, Star Wars Battlefront? Yeah. No. I played on PC mainly, but dude, you never played Battlefront. I don't think I could make You've it. never walked Actually, across no, the frozen that. tundras of Hoth watching an AT-AT -AT walk towards you in terror on PS2. No. You don't deserve to play the new one. I don't want to play the new one. I don't Why? like it. <laughs> I'm gonna... It has no interest in me at all. I have Battlefield 3, I have Battlefield 4, I have Battlefield Hardline, I'm good. That's all I need. I don't need Star Wars edition of that with less stuff. You Call of Duty whore. Anyway, uh, so... But, I mean, I like Battlefield 2. It'd be cool if we can get that. I played a lot of that on PlayStation 2. I like the thing that you could switch between people. If you just have a line of sight, you could, like, warp into their soul <laughs> and play as them. Um, that was a cool mechanic. Like Ultron. Um, but, I mean, other than that, I really can't think of anything. I had the Friends trivia game on PlayStation 2. I was Wait, actually... what? Ew. <laughs> I Why? actually I actually plugged in PlayStation 2 like about a year ago and played that. And that was the last time I had plugged it in since... Like, yeah, because after that you were like, mm, yeah. I'm going to get like 30 <laughs> minutes of my life back. That was absolutely awful. I liked it. Except I don't have the right components. Why don't you watch so, uh, Friends? That would have been better. I than... watch Friends like all the time. Netflix. I know. Every Why? season. Why didn't you do that instead of playing the Because it's game. a Friends trivia game. You learn trivia. And I and I didn't have the HD component cable, so it was all in black and white. It was terrible. 
But yeah, there's a lot of time I like in different the PlayStation system two. planes. He's the original, you know, like old school Nintendo. You're like you're like you, and then I'm just what like the fuck. And I'm just like I I did mostly PC until I was like ten. Then I moved to a console, but mostly mm. PC for me. Well, I was on PC originally. I mean, first like first game I think I ever really got into was Counter Strike on the PC as a kid. I mean, I was playing the original Counter Strike, and then I was still around before they got Source in, mm-hmm. and then they got Source and it was like totally changed everything. Mm. You got a bunch more maps and servers were better and yeah. Well, and on we had PC, three you computers can... in the house, and we had like all the cousins over, and we do like uh, LAN games. Yeah, exactly. Uh, oh my god, awesome. those were the best. Had so many fucking cables running through that house. <laughs> mm-hmm. I had a friend, um, <clears throat> well, a neighbor that lived across the street that had a uh, this like I, I forgot what they're called, where you build forces and you like tell them, and it's like an overview, like Halo Wars. What? It's what's like that? what's that kind <laughs> it's of? It's called game an called? RTS game, and there's a lot of those. Um, RTS, yeah, it was an RTS, but like medieval, and you could have land games where you just build a castle and send like people. Sid it was Myers? so fun. What? Sid Meier's Civilizations? No, it's called Stronghold. Oh, yeah, it was really. I've cool. heard you, of that one. In the later ones, you could actually move the land and like make your own mountains and stuff and mm-hmm. terrain. So I would just get the square map put one castle in each corner and then put a mountain so there's only one way to get to the other so it's like you just have to make a giant army and push them to the wall anyway so anyway. my nerdiness is done yeah. moving on to the next topic uh next topic uh billy mitchell loses regular show it's lawsuit. billy michelle no it's not it's mitchell. he's french He's not. And he's missing <laughs> anyway, Billy Mitchell loses regular show lawsuit. 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 Uh, doesn't care as long as he's trending, which is true because Billy Mitchell's totally an ego. F- oh. He Wait, doesn't need an ego been, boost. Yeah, like what is he? He was in a fistful of quarters. He was in a documentary about him, basically him and the dude that was trying to go after his title and then lost. Ha. He has his own fucking barbecue sauce. Don't really? Know fuck- yeah, he has his own goddamn barbecue it sauce. It tastes like a gorilla <clears> through <throat> a barrel in your. F- King face. I I don't want to experience <laughs> that. Uh, anyway, uh, basically what happened was the regular show had a floating head that looked similar to him um, that was trying to... Uh, basically, here's, here's a story. This is cut from uh, the AV, AV Club. Um, according to a report by the Associated Press, a Hollywood Florida judge has ruled against, mis- uh, against misunderstood entrepreneur and infamous arcade game champion Billy Mitchell throwing out his lawsuit against Cartoon Network. Uh, Mitchell's lawsuit alleged that the character of Garrett Bobby Ferguson, as seen on the cart- uh, as seen on the network's regular show, exaggerated his traits to appear cartoonishly evil, while anyone who has seen the King of Kong, uh, it was King Kong Fistful of Quarters, I think it was, uh, would argue that Mitchell is just a regular kind of evil. Uh, <laughs> which is which is great. Um, but... Uh, <laughs> The judge's comments back for why it doesn't uh, match is just freaking hilarious. Um, the television character does not match. This is what the judge says. Uh, the television character does not match the plaintiff in appearance, Judge Ann Thompson said of the Garrett Bobby Ferguson, uh, a character who cheats to win at an arcade game. Uh, GBF appear, which is Garrett Bobby Ferguson, short. Uh, GBF appears as a non-human creature, a giant floating head with no body from outer space, while plaintiff is a human being. Mitchell is known for his usual wardrobe consisting of black pants, a black shirt, and an American flag tie. A bad haircut and beard is not enough to qualify a resemblance, apparently. Um, that's from uh, from the AV Club response to it. Um, but the judge continued, uh, when Garrett Bobby Ferguson loses his title, uh, why... <laughs> Presum- uh, Thompson continued, presumably while thinking to herself, why am I meditating a frivolous lawsuit between the makers of a cartoon for stoners and some stroke... What was, what was I looking for? Uh, the character literally explodes, unlike the plaintiff. Wow. <laughs> wow. So so that was the last nail in the coffin is, dude, this guy explodes, <laughs> it's a cartoon, calm down, case done. Um, that was basically your attitude, I'm guessing. It, it, I think Billy Mitchell was just mad that he was falling out of people's scope yeah and then and just they tried to cash in but it's like dude 
that probably got you more like, wait, who is that supposed to be? People probably looked it up, like, because they just said that full Well, that's name. what he's looking for, is yeah. that he's looking for people to remember him again, because it, it was a long time since King Kong was out. Yeah, and that's And it was a good documentary, fishing. but, like, it did not paint him in a good light. And so this doesn't either. And if I you, haven't seen it. Like, is he actually an asshole? Yeah, he's a, he's a total asshole. He's Ooh. really conceited. Like, and, I mean, you have a, <laughs> you have a record-beating Donkey Kong. And... Pac, I think he has a record for Pac-Man as well. And th- that's it. I mean, that's great. It's a lot of work. But... No, it's not. It was I Playing video games are fun as shit. That's they all, not work. What's the record? He, what, he beat it? Um, well, he got... I think for, for Pac-Man, he got to level 256. Which wow. is like the final... Like It just like glitches up and stops at like 256. And then Donkey Kong... Um, I don't remember what his score was for Donkey Kong. But uh, really fucking high. And that's great. It's tough. But, like, I'm sorry, it's not that big. Yeah. It, like, it was tough, and, yeah, video games can be challenging, and it was interesting, but your time is done and over. Move yeah, on. You're, you're Take good, you and your yeah. hot sauce franchise <laughs> yeah, out of here. And, and go on. You don't need more fucking lawsuits. Take um, you and your fancy sauce, get in a barrel, and go over the falls in Niagara. Uh, but as... You trying to be an Ohio one again, you son of a bitch? Yeah. <laughs> um, so that's it right now for the checklist. Aaron's been rather quiet. Aaron's sitting over here uh, yeah, crocheting, he actually. Uh, he's just been like... Mm. I'm still here. He's still here. He's he, fading. He's, he's, fading he's mad. We made fun of his home state. No, oh, that's, no, that's not <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, so that's Those it. Those corn-eating Ohioans. Uh, How do you say it, Ohioan? Yeah. Ohioan. That's how everybody says. Ohioan sounds no, really close to Hawaiian. The, no, Ohioan. Ohioan. <laughs> Jesus. Ohioan. Oh. Yum. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, we gotta pass it over to Aaron for our for our random topic of the day. Aaron, you get the talking conch. I don't have a random topic. You don't have a random topic. I yeah, don't you do. Have a random topic. I do. What's your random topic? Spandex. It's making a big comeback, folks. We're gonna we're gonna not do that. <laughs> no, hey, um, spandex. We're gonna, we're gonna toss this one in here then, because Aaron's a Nintendo fan, and hey. uh, I figured an interesting topic with what's been going on. Uh, we have the Nintendo um, NX, I'm which is the. the show. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, which is the new console <sighs> that most likely is going to be announced uh, next year at E3. They fucked up with um, me. They've they've lost me. It's same here, but they've they're, lost me. This is their last stretch. Um, if they screw up with NX, they're done. Uh, it will be their last console if if they do not go. They're going come under, right? Gamers. Like Sonic just. I read something like the Sonic office is just closed, or Sonic is Sega, or I don't know. Nintendo something. bought Sega. They did, but well, they didn't. They didn't. Nope, that's what it was. Sega Office is closed or something. Because it was on Well, it's not about it's not about it's not about Sonic. I mean Sonic is company the company isn't doing well, right? Like they're going under. Yeah, well not I wouldn't say they're going under, but they're I mean they are they have a huge bank log of cash. It's not like they're going bankrupt. But no, they are losing a significant amount of gamers. The Wii U um has sold I think 10 million units in the last three years yeah that's awful yeah it's it's terrible it sold less than the gamecube yeah, um they're the least popular console like um, hands down the snes <coughs> was huge then they sold less with the n64 mm-hmm. and then they sold less with the gamecube and then it picked back up really high with the wii and then dropped again really low with the wii yeah because they were like oh <laughs> maybe they changed nope and then people just left nope um same shit so my question is um what would you like to see return what would make you come back to nintendo and we're gonna start with aaron because i miss his sultry voice over there what did you like from the original nintendo consoles whether it's a feeling or a game or a style that you'd like to bring back what about the company gave you a that throbbing you- hold on Wow. That's my best Ohioan imitation God, uh, ever. I'm done. I'm done. I'm out. <laughs> All right, but seriously. That wasn't even close. That I know. Was like, that was British. That was, like that was a totally British. British yeah, I know. I'm sure there's some British in Ohio, but... So what would None. you like to see? There's only corn. 
come with the NX that would bring you back? The original controllers for me. I, no, shut up. You don't have. no, I want. <laughs> You remember, like, for the... They never did it with the 64, which I wish they would have done, like, a special edition, like, for GoldenEye or something like that. But remember Mm. the guns for the Super NES? The light guns? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. For, like, when they did Duck Hunt and stuff like Mm -hmm. that. I would love to have something like that again. Yeah, they need light guns again? Yes! They had those for the Wii. No, I know, they had them for the Wii, but they sucked because you had to, like, inject the controller into it. I know what you're talking about. There was really no point to... It was just an extra accessory to have. You didn't Uh. really need it. I would say I want, having gun models. I want models. one that's actually the controller <clears throat> that you can walk around. You know, you don't have to stick the controller in it. And it is. Crap. You just, it's there's actually, buttons. yeah, like the Duck Hunt one. I will say, going <laughs> into Bookman, cool. seeing, like, the actual modeled guns for, like, gun games, those are cool. Those can be a good idea because you would have the feeling of a gun, except they can even make them more realistic for modern times. Like, not <laughs> orange and yellow, but, like, make them look like, I don't know, um... Arcade I can't, no, style. I can't think of the uh, pellet guns, but just with buttons on it, but with the orange tip, you know, for, mm. like, still just the guns. The airsoft but, guns. Yeah, but they just look cooler. Because those <coughs> would be fun to use. I mean, imagine playing Call of Duty with an actual gun in your hand. Mm. Well, not actual, but <laughs> gun I don't feeling. I don't think that's on Nintendo's <laughs> way <Wee! there. laughs> Millions oh. of TV shot on the Yeah, like, oh, release. honey, we need a new plasma. <laughs> so, you, that's interesting. Yeah. You want you want light guns back? Yes, yeah. yes, I, I do. They See, could I work. Think, I think that would so kill. That's I think that's the problem right now. Is too many fucking ridiculous peripherals. I think light guns would kill it for me. I'm I mean, not saying for all the games or whatever like that. I'm oh, just yeah, saying no, just for specific ones like, like the reason they, or yeah, the, the reason they like fucked up was redo because they tried all doing... of the Time Crisis games, release them as a bundle, give me a badass perfect light gun. Is, weren't well. you the one that was geeking out over the game where you got like the little arm bullshit thing or whatever? Oh, yeah. Fallout Four! You're like, oh my god, I got, I can put my phone on my arm. Holy shit! Okay, that's cool. All right. Yeah, well, that would be the same thing for me with a gun, with the light gun. All right. Did and you play Time Crisis? Were you a Time Crisis fan? Yeah. Okay. Give me all. The, yeah, I think that'd be cool. Give me all the Time Crisis games in a bundle. Give me HD. And give me a really cool, t- give me a really cool light gun. I would play that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know if that's gonna, it's gonna sell me on a console. The but whole, that'd be cool. I mean, the whole reason <laughs> we messed up is because, yeah, like we would do it for specific games. They did that stupid wand and that stupid like single joystick for every goddamn game. You had to use it, and it was this is annoying as well, shit. Well, then they came out with the um, the retro controller. The retro I didn't controller. Even heard of that. You want to even for the Wii. Yeah. For yeah. the new Wii, yeah, I didn't no, even hear about that. No, it's not for the new one. Not for the new one. No, it's for the other Wii. Yeah, it's it's basically like it's kind of like the uh, SNES controller, but mm. it has a little more buttons on it. It's it, it's like it's well, like then a, it's obviously just, enough, not enough people heard about it because well, no, no, do shit. You no, know, it was no, for when you downloaded um, the original games because you could download like the Super well, NES games oh, on your Wii. Oh, well, yeah, then and then that's play of with the original controller. It was also like a necessity for me to play Mario Kart. I could not play the Mario Kart with the wheel. It was too too inaccurate for me, and I couldn't play it with the controller because I didn't like the button layout. So you give me the original controller. Yeah, surprisingly, the gyroscope. In the wheel is less accurate than just a Well, because it was just a Wiimote stick. you put into a wheel. Yeah. Really? Yeah. No, that's what I'm saying. Uh, that's what irritated me about the guns and stuff like Anthony that. Anthony is it was not just... a Nintendo fan. <laughs> no, that's, yeah. What, yeah, that's what irritated uh, me about the guns. Like, they had, like, a hunting game where you could get the rifle and stuff like that. But it literally all you did was stuff <laughs> And it doesn't even look like in... a gun. Yeah, it's just yeah. a little... You just stuff the controller into it and then stuck the, the little joystick thing, like, near the, the where the trigger would be. And that's how you used it. But you didn't need it. Yeah. I'm yeah. saying I want something that you need. Like this is the game. Like what was the what was the what was the haunted game that you always like was the big one? Like was it like Evil Dead or something like yep. that? It was in the arcades. Yeah, and yeah. you always needed it. And they would House of the Dead. The, House of the Dead. That's mm-hmm. what it was. Yeah, I want something like that. Yeah, you have like to arcade have, games where you yeah. have to have the gun to play the game. And it comes like you can buy it with the game. It comes with it. Like kind of like how they do rock band. Right. Mm -hmm. But it's not some piece of shit that you don't really need where you can just, oh, I'm going to slide this thing in and slide this here. And no, I got a gun. You know what? I I I I want an actual controller gun. You know what I think Mm -hmm. would sell that is you'd have to do it as a pack. Like make it like 80, 90 bucks. Maybe I I think I don't think I pay any more than a hundred. I would pay a hundred. Give me all of the best light gun games. Remake them. 
We make them full HD. So you get like 10 games in the gun for like $80, $90? Yeah, I buy that. Something like that? I buy uh, that. That'd yeah, be fun. That, that, make, that'd be you got to spend the money. For them. Spend mm-hmm. the money. Make it really accurate as far as the gun goes. Yeah, like the, la- you, the lasers would need to be modern sensors. Like, yeah, no, it yeah. is pinpoint accurate. Give me some cool environments. Don't give me some like, if, the, if you've seen that Rambo game that they came out with. Gross. <laughs> that was, it was an on-rails Rambo game. And it was freaking terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you could even play it two player, but there was only still one Rambo. And it was ridiculous. Was wow. Well, there was yeah. one Rambo, and it was like two people shooting, and it was just uh, it was terrible. Um, the other guy fuses into me when cutscenes happen. All right. Um, <laughs> wow, that was a shitty. <laughs> I know. I d- wasn't even trying there. Um, you didn't even yell, Adrian. <laughs> Adrian. <laughs> anyway, what would uh, what would do it for you, Anthony? Uh. Well, that I mean, cause just the attachment for the gun. You can't, you can't take his. Do your own. Yeah. Uh, okay. Be well. Be okay. Original. Well, then let me think of it. But quick point is, like, yeah, and the gun didn't even look like a gun. It literally the attachment for it looked like. Yeah, it was orange and yellow. No, no, no. The orange white one. White. Oh yeah, orange or white. It was like a Nerf. Gun, I just yeah. remember the white one where it literally looked like the oh, handle yeah. you snap onto yeah, like a Ruger to make yeah, it automatic. Yeah. Too, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like it just. No, it looks like the attachment you put on a pistol to make it automatic so it can yeah. be shoulder. I just remember that they had like, like when they when they did the Wii Sports was like the biggest game that mm-hmm. came with the for the Wii because yeah. it came with it, I think, wasn't it? Yeah. But they had an attachment where you remember like the, the Oh, tennis. The, no, the well yeah, the tennis yeah. one, but they had the jousting. Yeah. One or whatever, oh like yeah, the, the fencing. Stick. The fencing. Yeah. And I all it was oh was you God. stuck it in to something that looked like a cheap ass lightsaber. Yeah, yeah. You had, you, there was no need for it because it was just the same as holding the Wii the remote's remote. already a stick. Right. Yeah. It was the same as holding the Wii remote and doing yeah. the and the same thing with like uh yeah, with like the tennis racket. And, and then stuff they like came that. out with the You didn't need the tennis racket because you just smacked your couch more. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Or you smacked the ceiling or, yeah. or it flung off and hit your TV. Or that it, was another problem. Or it, people would Fling the remote. Smacked your grandma and in the face that stuff. came in wanting to know if you wanted more cookies. But anyway, what, you want some more cookies? what would do it for me is if the head of Nintendo sat down with all the board members. Which he probably they already each does. opened. Well, yeah, I know, but hang on. <laughs> if he it's came a, into work a, tomorrow it's a, it's a new and meeting. did what he normally does. <laughs> it's a new meeting. Fuck you guys. They all sat down with a little, little box. They opened it up. There's one capsule in each, and they all took it. And what you the know what was in that going? capsule? If you say cyanide, cyanide. I'm getting out. Okay, <laughs> yep. yep, I'm up. All right, yep. goodbye. I'm going to wrap it up here real quick. Uh, last thing I'm just going to say, uh, bring back for Nintendo is, I just need I need the bigger party games. I need I need that new Zelda. The new Zelda is going to be on the Wii U, unfortunately. No, I need um, the new Zelda with a new sword attachment that's colored in everything. No, so don't give me, no, don't no, give no, me no. a sword it's attachment. The, it's, and, and I need the shield attachment. And they already had that. And I need a hat attachment, okay? It needs oh to feel God. like a helmet. <clears throat> and I need a moist towelette to wipe the sand out of my vagina. All right? I need all of those things to go back to Nintendo. A Nintendo. Yeah. All right. A Nintendo uh, issued moist towelette yes. <laughs> for sand vaginas. Um, but I just, I, I'd like the, you got to have the third party games come in. They, they got to go back to, to all the developers that they pissed off. Um, and kind of cut their ties with and go, hey, we're sorry, but here's our new console. We'd like to make it for the gamers again. Mm-hmm. And would you please make games for our console? They need- and I want to see, um, I want to see full blown Resident Evil games. I want to see, um, ah, oh, trying to add one I really wanted. Um, I want to see a button that you can push on the side of the console that melts it. With thermite. Oh my god, shut up. Um, I just want to bring back what they had with like the the GameCube. The GameCube had some solid games. I'm sorry, I bring back bring back. You know, I want to find out where the fuck who owns the rights to Time Splitters. Yeah. Who owns the fucking rights to Time Splitters and give me another goddamn Time Splitters game on the NX? Yeah, exactly. And make it exclusive. That was. A and game. I will buy that fucking game because I played Time Splitters on the GameCube for so long. Um, then your eyes bled. Time splitters, yeah. monkey ball, Mario Party. Monkey ball. <laughs> Mario Party's dead to me. Monkey ball's still awesome. 
Smash I never Brothers. played any of the new ones. Smash Brothers is dead to me. I'm tired of Why? it. Why? I just it's all the same thing every time. It's but, still fun, but I don't. Well, yeah, but sell, see, they don't not, mask it. They don't try to. Ooh, new store. Nope. Yeah. We just get a bunch of characters and fight. Well, it won't sell a console for me. Well, but anyway. yeah, I know, but it is fun. Yeah. All right. Well, Hub Thirty Two. Uh, this has been us. Uh, Nintendo sucks. Bye. <laughs> uh, thanks for joining in for us this week. Um, on our next show, uh, we have some new announcements to make about the show. A uh, possibly new set change of schedule that we've been promising you guys an actual uh, more structured style here. Uh, we're wrapping this one up. Thank you guys very much. Please. And a new cast member, possibly. <laughs> in the works? Um, mm-hmm. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, so please make sure you tune in um, every week. Try and get stuff up every week. Once you get this new schedule out, we will have stuff every week. Um, please make sure you follow us on Twitter. Um, you can follow me, David Sieber, at uh, at Seabeard. S e e b e a r d at Twitter. Follow Aaron at Aaron underscore Kirby 9 We'll put both those in the description. And follow Anthony. me in the path of life, cause yeah, uh, I don't have like a tweeter or <laughs> a tweeter. An Instagram. I don't know uh, what the kids do these days. You can also follow us on Facebook. Uh, also, you can add me on Xbox Live if you want. Under Six Night. Thank you guys. Nintendo very much. sucks. Uh, love you very much. See you again next week. Nintendo sucks. Nintendo sucks. They can burn. Oh my god. Goodbye.